back to my channel and if you are new then a big huge welcome to you. Today's video it's going to be a little bit challenging because yeah it's going to be very awkward and very out of my comfort zone <laughs> but hopefully this will probably be okay for most people. I've wanted to do this video for quite some time because I feel that it may be important to someone who's going through that stage and also this video has been highly requested so after doing a little bit of thinking about it and leaning towards yes and no I decided to go for it and of course today's video is about autism and puberty and uh, before I start this video I want to make a few points just to be clear on what I'm trying to say first of all I know there's going to be some bits of information that people may find uncomfortable with so I'll try and keep this as family friendly as much as possible but there will be some few bits that people may find a little bit awkward but hopefully I won't share this information too much and also I will try to link both sides but this is likely I'm going to probably towards the female point of view because I have absolutely no idea about male puberty. Puberty is the one transition that everybody goes through and it doesn't matter how slow or fast it will become, everyone goes through these situations and it's also a time where things can get a little bit awkward and the changes from childhood into teenhood and into adulthood, they're not as simple or as easy as you think it is. And I know in my experiences, I had to deal with a lot of stuff. And by that, I mean a lot. And for someone who is on the autistic spectrum, puberty has been the case of trying to be a little bit repetitive, but in the most safest and appropriate way as much as possible. Because sometimes when we think of puberty, some people tend to go a little bit overboard. But I'm not saying everybody, but sometimes things can get a little bit too much for some individuals. So this is very important to actually address. I actually started going through puberty when I was about 9 or 10 years old and like any other girl I had to deal with a lot of things from body changes to something that... Mm, that happened and um, these weren't very easy for me because I had to deal with a lot of information. It was a big, huge process. And learning about it for the first time, I felt... Uh, it felt like everything was about to explode in my head. So in order to help me understand a little bit more, my family tried to help me in the best way they could. And most of the things that happened was including repeating some actions or some words that I may need later in life if I had children of my own. And even though it's not really that easy. Sometimes learning about puberty takes an awful amount of time and I know in my case that I had to learn things verbally and visually. Most of the visual stuff that I had to pick up and had to learn was through books and during my experience of puberty I found two books that were really really helpful and I'm not going to say what they are because I don't know it'll be too much for this video but if you want to have a look at these books I'll leave links in the description box below and if you have any other books about puberty that you would recommend for parents to read their children on the autistic spectrum let me know and I will put the link in the description box below as well and with me being a very huge reader I, I just learned it that way it was quick and simple and through these books I was able to have the opportunity just to read through sections again and picking out little keywords that will help me process inside my brain and then also in the books they had really good illustrations that helped me understand because sometimes with words it's very hard to process in and with these images they help me to understand what's happening as you're getting older however unlike myself some people may find learning very helpful through actions and words but even if they are balanced or if you prefer one reference to the other language is always important and 
the reason why language is very important because a lot of people on the autistic spectrum, especially children, may need a little bit of help to use family friendly terms and words that they can understand so they can feel comfortable and secure within themselves. Sometimes people on the autistic spectrum may not see how patients may work and this brings to a point where I'm actually going to mention. This point actually focuses on relationships a bit more but what I found through it is that through the connections of the people you meet one has to learn that trust is extremely important because it is the way of feeling comfortable and feeling safe so if you can I would really recommend trying to talk to your children about trust at an earlier age and the same goes with puberty because these two have a huge connection with each other my final tip for puberty and this one one is for the girls who are going through transitions of puberty is to keep notes and a journal. One of the things I would do is that when I go through my cycle I tend to circle or colour in little dots on the calendar so that's when I know how many days it took from start to finish and also you can count whether your cycle is a little bit late or a little bit early and some Sometimes keeping a journal just probably expresses how you're feeling during that stage or just a way little bit before. Do they feel upset by something? Are they taking things the wrong way? Or do they feel insecure about these things? Again, this is really, really important. And I would say to parents, just actually help them through the process as they will go along. And I think that's all I covered on autism and puberty. I'm not really a full expert on this, but I know that through my own experiences and the people around me, I probably gave a little bit more information about puberty to you guys. So hopefully the information I gave was all right. And if you want to know more about puberty, the National Autistic Society has done a really great article on the subject, including introducing tips of their own. So if you want to have a read, I'll leave their link in the description box below. And yeah, that's all I can say really, to be honest. So I'm going to be drawing this video to a close. And I promise that next time I will be including a less or a very uncomfortable video. So we're gonna actually be all right again. <laughs> Yay! So until then guys, I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. And until then, keep on dreaming and never stop believing. I'll see you very soon. Bye bye!